Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the killer theme from Dead, uh, Dead by Daylight. It's a cool little track. I've done a cover version, so if you want to hear me play it all the way through, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and a card above. So I'm going to teach that today. It's going to be an easy little lesson. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, what um, songs I should do next, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off, you can do that on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if you're buying some gear, I've got an affiliate link to Reverb.com as well, so check that out, it's down below. My guitar is in standard tuning. I've got loads of distortion on the guitar sound. Nice rocky kind of sound. Um, there's only eight bars of music, so it's two lines that we need to learn. It just keeps repeating round. The first line sounds like this. So to play that, E6 twice, and then a C sharp power chord, which is your first finger on A4, third finger on D6, and your little finger just underneath it on G6. So it's a C sharp power chord, and you play the A, D, and the G strings, and then you're going to play the A string on its own to go. And then you move down one fret to the third fret. So your first finger is on E, uh, sorry, A3. Third finger on D5. Little finger on G5. So that's a C power chord. Uh, so you play the chord and then you're gonna play the A string on its own. So it goes. And then it goes back to the C sharp. So the fourth fret. And then the last chord hit is your first finger on E6. Third finger A8, little finger on D8. So that first bar slowly goes. Okay, the next bar is just E6 played eight times. So we've put the first two bars together, you get. Now the next bar, bar number three, is the same as bar one. So you go. And in bar four, we play E6 seven times, and then the last note there is A4. So it's okay, so let's try the whole of the first line. Here we go. And on to the next line, we're going to play the A4 twice, then a C sharp power chord, so you put your third finger A6, little finger on G6 as well, so hit that power chord, and then another A4 on its own, so it goes. Then move down a fret to a C power chord, hit that, and then play the A string. Then back to C sharp, and then to C, so fourth fret power chord and then third fret power chord. Hopefully this is making sense, so bar five slowly. And then from bar five into bar six, leave your third finger and your fourth finger on fret five and let those ring. And we go to fret four with the first finger in the next bar. So in bar six, you're gonna play the A four eight times, but leave these fingers on and you get this dissonance. It sounds kind of horrible, but nice. It's like very dissonant. Um, so leave those down. So if I play bars five and six, you get. So you can see I'm leaving these fingers down. So let's do that again. And then bar seven is the same as bar five. And then you, um, bar eight, you're just playing A3 and D5, 
Uh, it's a C power chord, just eight times. So let's do the whole of that line. And those eight bars just keep repeating. So let's put the uh, eight bars together, play it once through. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, give me a like on the video. And I do love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, what songs I should do next, or if you just wanna say hi, say hi. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, support me. If you love what I'm doing, uh, you can support me on Patreon. I'll leave a link. Uh, in the descriptions. I'll put the tabs for this on there and loads of other tabs, so go and check that out. Um, and also I've got an affiliate link to Reverb.com. So if you wanna buy any gear off Reverb.com, if you use that link, it just helps my channel out. It doesn't cost you anything. So check that out as well. The link is in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.